India News, Tuesday, 25 September 2007, Delhi, India wins its first T20 World Cup. MS Dhoni-led team beat Pakistan by five runs in a nail-biting final. Johannesburg, on 24 September 2007, India scripted history at the Wanderers Stadium in Johannesburg, South Africa, when they beat Pakistan by five runs to win the inaugural ICC World T20 final. The teams had previously played each other in a Group D match of the tournament, which was also won by India. The victory is significant as it is the Indian cricket team's first major trophy in the limited overs version since India's 1983 World Cup victory. India became the first team to lift the T20 World Cup. It is also the first nation to win World Cups in three different formats of the game. Let us first understand how India reached the finals of the T20 World Cup. In the inaugural edition of ICC T20, India was placed with Pakistan and Scotland in Group D. While the match with Scotland was abandoned, the game against Pakistan turned out to be the most exciting game of the tournament. The match ended in a tie and the result was decided through a bowl out, which India won 3 by 0. Thereafter, it was India's tournament as they lost only one encounter against New Zealand. They went on to win against England, South Africa and then the semi-final against Australia. India booked its place in the final by defeating Australia who failed to chase down 189 runs. On the other hand, Pakistan beat New Zealand to reach the final of ICC T20 World Cup 2007 against India. After that stunning encounter in the group stage, the stage was set for an exciting clash between the two arch rivals. In the 2007 ICC T20 World Cup final, the star batsman for India was Gautam Gambhir, who hit 75 of 54 balls. Rohit Sharma's late Flurry of an unbeaten 30 of 16 also proved crucial and helped India reach a total of 157. In response, Pakistan gave a spirited performance. They fought hard, but it simply wasn't enough. In the nail-biting finish, they were left needing six runs from four balls. The high-octane drama began quite early in the match. India won the toss and opted to bat first. The team lost opener Yusuf Patan in the third over when he mistimed his shot and was caught by Shoei Malik for 15. The next wicket to fall was that of Robin Uthappa who went after scoring 8. It was left to Gautam Gambhir to steady the Indian innings. After settling down, Gambhir played some beautiful shots. His quick fire 75 from 54 balls which included 8 fours and 2 sixes was a treat for the fans. He was amply supported by Yuvraj Singh at the other end and the two added a useful 63 runs. Yuvraj was finally dismissed for 14, caught and bowled by Umar Gul. MS Dhoni, who came in next, didn't stay long at the crease and was bowled by Gul for 6. This slowed down the Indian innings between the 14th and 18th overs. However, Rohit Sharma's Late order hitting brought India's total to 157 for 5 in the 20 over. When Pakistan came into bat, they suffered an early blow when Muhammad Hafiz was dismissed in the very first over and Kamran Akmal fell for a duck soon afterwards. R.P. Singh was responsible for taking both the wickets. Batsman Imran Nazir, however, was not one to be goaded down by the situation. He made a blistering 33 runs from 14 balls. This included two fours and two sixes in S. Shri Sun's expensive opening over in which he conceded 21 runs. But wickets kept falling for the chasing team at regular intervals thanks to the disciplined bowling efforts of Irfan Patan 3 for 16 and R.P. Singh 3 for 26. Imran Nazir was run out by Robin Uthappa which was the turning point in the match. It started a brief collapse with the wickets of Yunus Khan, Shoaib Malik and Yasser Arafat putting Pakistan at 77 for 6. 
Pakistan needed someone who could not only stay in the middle and make runs but also take them near the Indian total. They found the man in Misbah ul Haq. Coming at number 6, Misbah played one of the most memorable knocks in the history of the shortest format of the game. He single handedly took the team close to the target and even looked set to take them past the finish line. Misbah made things difficult for Dhoni as he had smashed India's lead spinner Harbhajan Singh for three massive sixes. The Pakistani fans were ecstatic. All the players in the Pakistani camp were on their feet, waiting for Misbah to score the winning shot and celebrate what would have been one of their biggest wins at the international stage. It was a final over and with one wicket in hand, Pakistan was in need of 13 runs. For India, things couldn't be more tense. But they had the best man for the job in MS Dhoni. He is known for his ability to remain calm and take rational decisions in tough situations. This was to earn him the name of Mr. Cool in the cricketing world in the future. After much deliberation, Tony decided to put his faith in the young pacer Joginder Sharma. It was a bad start for Joginder. The first ball was wide, the second a full toss was smashed for a six by Misbah. The Pakistan fans at the ground were jubilant, the Indian supporters crestfallen. Skipper MS Dhoni came all the way down from the wicket keeper's end to have a long chat with Joginder and soothe his nerves. Soon, a composed Joginder came into bowl the next delivery. Misbah walked across his stumps to paddle him to find leg, only to miscue the shot and find Srisan, who was lurking at short find leg. The second Srisan took the catch, the spectators at the Wanderers went berserk. India had won by five runs. Irfan Pathan, with the figures of 3 by 16, was adjudged the man of the match. For Pakistan, Omar Gul was a star performer with the ball. He picked up three crucial wickets while conceding just 28 runs. Mizbaul Haq was the top scorer with 43. After the match, as the nation rejoiced the historic triumph, a happy Enes Dhoni said, it's one of the things I will treasure for the rest of my life. I'd like to congratulate the boys and thank them for the response they have given me. No one expected us to win. And the way we played today, we deserve a big celebration.